Lesson 12, Pie Chart, Example 1. Use the political party affiliation data, question 2, from our Sierra College Elementary Statistics student survey to construct a percentage pie chart and describe the result. So in this problem, we're going to construct a percentage pie chart. That is, a pie chart which displays the data values along with its corresponding percentages. After we construct our percentage pie chart, we will then describe the result. That is, using words to describe results that can be directly derived from the data. Now to construct a pie chart, we first draw a circle. And then the circle is divided into sections. The size of each section corresponds to the size, or in this case percentage, of the data values that belong to that section. So we need to look at the data, in this case question two, political party affiliation, and we need to determine the percentages of students who identify themselves as Democrat, Republican, Independent, and other. We've already done this in a previous example, so we'll just use those results here. Now, due to the nature of a pie chart being circular, and also that the data is qualitative data that reaches the nominal level of measurement, there is no particular order to this data. So, the sections and ordering of the sections can be done in whichever way the creator of the pie chart deems appropriate. That is, as long as it clearly and accurately displays the information, the pie chart is totally acceptable. In this case, I'm going to start with Republican, the 47.7%. So 47.7% of this pie chart needs to be given to the Republican section. 47.7% is just about 2.3% shy of half or 50% of the pie. So we draw a section showing that amount and we label it Republican and the amount, in this case 47.7%. Next, I will make a section of the pie for the Democrat Party. In this case, it occupies 22.7% of the pie chart. 22.7% is just about 2.3% shy of a quarter or 25%. So we draw a section to that size, label it Democrat, and give its value 22.7%. Next, I'll draw a section of the pie representing the independents. And the independents occupy about 20.5% of the pie chart. 20.5% is 4.5% short of a quarter. So I draw a section to that size, label it independent, and its corresponding value, 20.5%. The remaining 9.1% of the pie it goes with the other group. So we label the last piece of the pie other and give its value 9.1%. Now the pie chart isn't complete until it has its title. So the title needs to describe the data along with the population from which the data was sampled. In this case, an appropriate title would be Political Party Affiliation of Sierra College Elementary Statistics Students. Now that we've completed our percentage pie chart, we need to describe the results. And since pie charts are primarily done with qualitative data, in this case, this qualitative data is at the nominal level where there is no particular order, and pie charts are circular, we cannot use our standard uh, labels of descriptions, such as bell-shaped or skewed. Instead, we merely just list all the categories along with the associated percentages. So here is one such description. Nearly half, 47.7% of Sierra College elementary statistics students surveyed identified themselves as Republican. There are about the same percentage of students choosing Democrat, 22.7%, as those who selected Independent, 20.5%. The remaining 9.1% picked Other.